<clears throat> hey, it's me, Vicky Marie, with a cup of tea. Now, I still haven't got my uh, own mug yet, uh, but it won't be long before it arrives here. Now, today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about super recognizers. And I find this fascinating. Now, what is a super recognizer? And could you be one? And am I one? I'm going to take the test here on the video to see if I am, uh, if I, I could possibly be a super recognizer. Now, I always think I remember faces, but I'm not very good at seeing them in crowds and things, you know, quite often. You know, when you see people out of context, you know, I mean, I've met a lot of people over the years through teaching, obviously, lots and lots of students have come through my doors. Um, and I normally always remember their face. I don't always remember their name. But if I see them out and about, I normally remember anyone that I've taken also for uh, residencias or, you know, so uh, wills because I, I used to do all sorts of things, not only teaching Spanish, but also organizing people's paperwork, etc. for being in Spain. And so I've met thousands and thousands of people over the years, as probably a lot of us have in our jobs or, you know, uh, depending on what we do. And I always think, oh, yeah, I'm really good at remembering faces, but um, I don't know. Am I? Am I as good as I think I am? Uh, now, names is a whole different uh, matter. I mean, I've had to make myself remember names, obviously, when I've had a lot of students in class. You know, I have to really sort of try and imprint their names because it's not very nice if you call someone by the wrong name, is it? You know, it does happen occasionally. Um, but yeah, recognizing people. So what is a super recognizer, first of all? I'm just going to explain to you what it is. So it, this term has only been in existence since 2009. And it was invented by a Harvard and University, a, a joint effort between Harvard and University College London researchers. And it refers to people with significantly better than average face recognition ability and super recognizers can memorize and recall thousands of faces even if they've only seen them once so this is a skill that's you know i think you're just born with it i don't think it's something you can learn and it apparently it's the extreme opposite of prosopagnosia uh, which is the opposite where you can't remember people so it's estimated that only one to two population of the uh, population, one to two percent of the population are super recognizers. That's a very small percentage, isn't it? But they can remember 80 percent of faces they have seen compared to the general population, which can remember 20 percent. Anyway, these are figures that are put out there, you know, and they can be disputed by some people. But that's basically the figures that are out there. So these uh, super recognizers can match faces better than computer recognition systems in some circumstances. And apparently they don't, we don't, they don't, the scientists don't understand why some people are better than others, but it's something to do obviously with the area of the brain that deals with recognition some people's are just better so it's used quite a lot amongst the british intelligent intelligence community so it's used by the london metropolitan police in 2015 they officially formed a team that was made up of people with this heightened capability for recognizing people and it put them to work identifying individuals whose faces are captured on cctv and scotland yard has a squad of over 200 super recognizers so apparently in 2018 the metropolitan police used uh, this facility to, well, use two super recognizers to identify the suspects of the attack on Sergei and Yulia Skripal. Do you remember that? That was um, 
the Salisbury poisonings of Sergei and Yulia Skripal. So apparently super recognisers were used to identify the suspects. After they trawled through 5,000 hours of CCTV footage from Salisbury and airports across the country. And other forces that use um, super recognisers include Thames Valley Police, City of London Police, Jersey Police and West Midlands Police. And or in, in other countries they use them. So apparently in the 2020 Stuttgart riots uh, in Germany, super recognisers were used to identify the suspects there. So... It's very, um, it's very interesting. I find it very interesting. Do you? Anyway, let's chat. So we're going to chat about this. I'm going to do the test. And then, you know, you might want to go online and do the test yourselves. If you think you're good with faces and you could be a super recognizer, um, it's interesting. I think it's very, very interesting. Just trying to work out what the Glasgow face match is. It mentions the Glasgow face matching test here. So this was a test that was created by researchers at the University of Glasgow and Glasgow Caledonian University. It's a cognitive test designed to determine a person's ability to match different images of unfamiliar faces. So that's interesting. I think that might actually be the test that I'm just about to take. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone, uh, everyone that uh, is subscribed to my channel, follows my channel, watches, likes my videos. Thank you so much for just um, anything you do to support my channel is so good. You know, it makes the channel for me, it makes it, it's the support that I get from you guys that helps me continue making videos. Uh, so thank you so much. I also especially want to thank my members. So you can become a member of my channel, and we are every Thursday we have a special members only live um, stream, and we have a bit of fun. We talk about all sorts of different things. This month as well, we're looking at our, our pets, our animals. People have been sending me in photos of their pets. So please, in fact, even if you're not a member, send in the photos of your pets if you want them to be featured in the video that I do at the end of the month. So November is Pets Month. And then, of course, December, we'll, I'll be doing some very special videos to do with Christmas. And that brings me to what I want to tell you oh also I just want to thank everybody who's bought me a coffee or a coffee I should say or sent me a super paypal me any support you've given to my channel thank you so much so talking of Christmas then so I just want to show you uh, you know I've just recently set up uh, a shop you know a merchandise shop Haven't actually got any Christmas items on there. Uh, maybe I should. I, I might look at that next. But I've just been building it gradually, putting things on there. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a moment. But first of all, I just wanted to show you this other website. This is a person who helped me out a lot with um, this uh, with my shop. So I just wanted to show you their shop. You might be interested in. Uh, getting somewhere uh, uh, getting something something from there or at least give it i'm sure that just traffic going on there and subscribing following helps um so it's just as a you know i just want to say thank you to this person for helping me out who have got lot and i have ordered one of these christmas jumpers or sweatshirts uh i was spoiled for choice to be honest i wanted to order one but i to be honest, I like all of them. Um, but I have chosen one. See if you can guess which one it is. And I will be wearing that throughout uh, December for the special videos that I'm going to make leading up to Christmas. We're going to make this Christmas very, very special 
on Vicky Marie chats. You know, I'm. If you've read uh, one of my books, the the book uh, Confessions of a Spanish Teacher, you'll know there's a reason that for many years I did not even celebrate Christmas or like it. And then, of course, I did start celebrating it when my son was young. And then the last few years, uh, last year, it was celebrated. But there was a few years before that we did not celebrate Christmas for a reason that I haven't talked about yet online. But I will one day when it's the right time. Um, but this year we're going to celebrate it. And I've got a good feeling about it. And I'm going to be celebrating it with you guys as well. So it's going to be great. Um, and I will be wearing one of these Christmas uh, sweatshirts for all my special Christmas videos. So I'll be doing my normal videos, but I'll be doing some very special Christmas videos. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Uh, I'll show you nearer the time. So, yeah, I will give I put the link to this website in the description box. Please just give it a visit and just have a look. And there's not only Christmas things in there. If you're a horse lover, there's um, uh, sweatshirts, T-shirts, talking about horses, etc. There's loads of things on there. So just go on and give it a look, just if, for a little bit of support to this person to just give it a bit of more traffic to the site, you know, which is always a good, uh, which always helps. Okay. Ooh. Now, so that leads, so this person helped me um, get my shop going. And that's what I'm going to show you now, where I'm up to with it. So I've got quite a few things on there now, and I keep adding things. Now, <laughs> I like this. So we've got the Rant of the Day mug. Or... Um, Vicky Marie and a cup of tea mug. I mean, and, you know, if there's anything that you see, like, for example, you might quite like that design, but you want the bigger mug. I can put, I will be putting them on that, you know, but I can only do it one at a time, uh, you know, bit by bit. So, if, but if there's anything that you see and you think, oh, I quite like that, but I don't want the photo on it. I'd rather just have the words, you know, or uh, like this one that I quite like. I know some of you will like. Don't know why it doesn't show up on there. But this one, I'm not in the mood for twonks today, it says. I am not in the mood for twonks today. <laughs> I really like that. I think I might have to order that one as well. as uh, I'll probably end up with about 10 of my own mugs because I'll go, oh, I'll be thinking, oh, I like all of them. So, like, you might want that but without the photo, you know, or uh, anything you want put on there, I can do that. Now, we've got True Crime and a Glass of Wine. They don't have on this particular, um, the people that I'm using at the moment to sort of design the things, they don't have a stemmed wine glass, just an unstemmed wine glass, they call it. So uh, what do they call it? A, a personalised stemless glass of wine. Okay, I mean, it looks nice. I think I might try one of them because I, I really do like the true crime and a glass of wine so again that's something i think i'm gonna uh try out but again if what you want is a glass if, if what you want is a glass with some other saying on it just let me know sweatshirts again i've only put one on there so far i'm gonna get busy with it this week this is a little uh pad a spiral no uh, notebook which I might get for my notes. Trouble with me is I always want everything, so I'll end up being my own best customer, I expect. This is a fridge magnet, and I collect fridge magnets, so I'm definitely <laughs> going to get that one as well. Oh, my God, I'm going to have no money left at Christmas. I'll be buying, uh, buying all this merchandise. Anyway, I just wanted to show, uh, show you. I know a lot of you have been on there and checked it out and subscribed and that. Thank you so much for that. And the issues that I had with the postcode, etc., it should be resolved. It should these should post anywhere now, all over the world. You should be able to order them. Okay. So, right, let's get going with this super recognizer test. 
I just find this fascinating. I know that those uh, cases that I was reading out before that the, the super recognizers have helped, and I know they helped as well. Or I, I remember reading about them in the Manchester bombing, um, the uh, Manchester Arena bombing, where you know, unfortunately, so many young people lost their lives. I'm sure that super recognizers were used there afterwards, you know, to try and uh, highlight. Uh, perpetrators not only of the bombing but unfortunately some people took that opportunity some twonks complete twonks used that opportunity to, to rob people who were lying there injured or even dying or dead terrible oh god what is wrong with people and there was one guy in particular he, you know made out he was a hero but it turned out later on he, so one day I'll do a video about that. So many things to do videos about, but yeah, what a twonk. That's a, you know, it's like a double twonk, isn't it? Because it's bad enough what had happened, like the terrorists that did that, and then somebody to take advantage of it. Horrible, horrible. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to put up this, and I'm going to do this trial here on the video. See if I could be a super recogniser, which I don't think, I don't, you know, I, I'm not bad with faces and that, but I doubt very much if I'll be uh, observant enough for this. Now, I tried to, I started doing this yesterday. And you just can't do it with any distractions whatsoever. You've really got to just concentrate uh, on the faces. Um, and it's funny, so I think I, I do notice faces, but let's see. So I'm going to take the test. Could I be a super recogniser? Now, just let me let me make sure that's uh, let me make sure that's showing. Yes, it is. Why is it not coming up? So, face tests. English. So it tells you not to use a smartphone, that it's best to use a computer, a laptop or a table. A tablet, not a table. So what am I doing? And I'm doing it on a desktop computer. Now it's got some information on here. So it was developed by Professor Josh P. Davis of the University of Greenwich. And it's a fun test. It takes about five minutes and it's just for fun. There are 14 trials and you'll receive your score at the end. If you generate an excellent score, you could be a super recognizer. Uh, and if you want to be more certain, please take the three follow-up tests described below. Okay. Three follow-up recognition. Where do I get to the actual test? Okay. It gives you some information. So you've got Super Recognisers International and the Association of Super Recognisers, and they have found full-time and part-time work for Super Recognisers within a number of organisations in different parts of the world. That's interesting. So maybe if you do this test and you get um, a really good score, you can... Um, you can apply or at least you can join in. It does say opportunities are rare. If you remember, yeah, that's well, interesting. So let's do the test. See, we could see if I'm any good first before I start thinking about uh, applying for work. <laughs> okay. Right. 
little sip of tea and get because I think you've only got a certain amount of time to do these. <clears throat> so you will view a single face for a few seconds. Your task is to memorize this face and then identify a different photograph of that face when presented in an array of faces it has 14 trials it should take five minutes okay deep breath here we go right i think it's that one I expect you'll be screaming at me as it gets more difficult, saying, no, not that one, it's B, not C. I think it starts off easier, but it gets harder, I think. That's quite hard, isn't it? Because it's only his profile. I think it's that one. Mm, it's that one. feel like I lost it a bit there. I lost concentration a bit. Isn't it funny? I think it was him. What I try and do is sort of pick out something that's particularly, you know, noticeable about these people, but it gets less and less noticeable. I think as you go along yeah i find that's hard that one i'm gonna go for that gosh that's difficult i think it's that one because that now they've started moving them round, you know, so you see them front on and then they're showing you them sideways on. But how, how do you know? Because you haven't seen them sideways on. That was hard, that one. I don't know. I'm stuck there. I'm going to go for this one. But actually, I'm going to change it to that one. But I, I was probably right the first time. No idea. I'm going to go for this one. Hard. If you saw them again front on, I would remember them, but when they, oh, when they turn to the side, it's like, is it this one? Ah, uh, no, I'm going to go for that one. I think I've got that one wrong. I think I've got quite a lot. Oh, my God, has got sunglasses on. Oh, God, I only saw him for a minute. Oh, I think it's that one. Oh, my God. think they're getting quicker as well it's like you've not got much time to look at them absolutely have no clue there just need you know i'm not very quick i need time to do i'm not quick with anything so god
Hmm, I'm torn between these two and I'm going to go for this one, but I'm probably wrong. Yes, yeah, I think it's, you can see it okay, just rubbish. Oh. 11 out of 14. Oh, that's good. I could be a super recognizer because I scored 11 out of 14. So if you scored above 10, you may be a super recognizer. However, no single 14 trail test on its own is diagnostic of super recognition face recognition ability. And if your score was below 10, this does not make you bad at face recognition. The faces you were asked to learn were shown very briefly. Some people may require longer to build up a reliable memory of someone's face. But once that memory is established, that memory may last for years. I think that's me. It just takes me a bit longer. Some of that, it was just too quick. I, I, like, I need to study it a little bit more. Anyway, as part of our research, we asked participants to take different types of tests to understand more about what makes someone good at face recognition. For instance, in one of our tests, participants are allowed to study the faces in phase one for as long as they like. Then there is a break until phase two. Another test has a minimum delay of seven days between watching videos in phase one and attempting to recognize the fa uh, faces in phase two. Are you interested in finding out more information? You can request an information pack, pack, pack or opportunities to take further tests. Right. Let's see. It's very interesting. So you've got the you, there's the three tests of face recognition ability and record of achievement. University of Greenwich test battery information pack super recognition resource guide. Joining the volunteer participant pool, and then Professor Josh Davis's students and collaborators conduct other types of research as well. He is very. I for me, this is really interesting. He currently supervises PhD students, sometimes as a co-supervisor, examining jury decision making, voice recognition, stigma against sex workers, hate crime legislation changes, the impact of dementia on cognition, and alcohol consumption by women over thirty years. Oh, well, he found me a very useful subject. While recent MSC projects have examined issues around sexual consent and assault, such as may occur in the casting couch scenario, the impact of alcohol on eyewitness identification reliability, body-worn camera evidence influencing court, and many more. Very, very interesting. I'm going to continue in a minute, but I want to just tell you a little story, uh, which I have said before but so if you've heard it before excuse me but many years ago one of my nephews disappeared went missing with his friends they went to some quarry or something well we all know how dangerous uh, quarries are and you know when people go swimming there or young people and anyway disappeared he didn't come home when he was supposed to come home so we got the police out and uh, reported him missing because he was young you know he was maybe 12 i can't remember exactly how old he was but he was he was a te he wasn't a teenager i don't think but it wasn't far off a teenager you know he wasn't a little tiny boy anyway uh they asked for what he was wearing and we gave all these details about what he was wearing that day and funnily enough as the police were actually there taking our statements literally just walked in through the door as if nothing had happened uh and he was wearing nothing that we'd said 
he was wearing. He was wearing completely different clothes. So it just shows you how difficult it is when you're dealing, you know, that I was living at my sister's at the time. So that was his mum and his auntie. We couldn't even describe accurately what clothes he'd been wearing that morning. You know, and I think really what we ended up doing was saying clothes that we he, he quite often wore. So we were more remembering clothes that he wore regularly than what he was actually wearing that morning. But very interesting, you know, the police have got their work cut out with um, witnesses deciding who's genuine is not the right word because it's not that you're being uh, disingenuous. You're not lying deliberately. Just literally, that's what you think. You know, there's times when you literally would swear on the bible that somebody was wearing a certain thing or said a certain thing and our memories are fallible that's the problem and that's why it's always important to get information in that first what do they call it the golden hour you know as we know that's not always a dear by is it um it's so important to get information then when when people's memories are still fresh because they don't stay fresh, if they're even accurate in the beginning. Okay, so this is the emails, etc. Now, what's this for them? Uh, what do I, what do they want my email for? Well, I'm quite happy with English, aren't I? So let's carry on. I think I'm on my way to more tests. I'm not really quite sure what's where they're taking me here. Ah, so I would like I I can take either. I would like to like to take the three tests immediately, or I would like a link sent to me an email. Right, I think I'll have a link sent to me in an email just because I don't want to make this. Um, video too long and then i can do a separate video when that arrives so i would like a link sent to me by email presume it lasts for my email now okay So that's my email. A lot of you know already. Don't get to email me your photos of your pets. And of course, you can always email me if you have any information about a case or if you want to rant about something, but you don't want to do it publicly. I try and read all my emails. I do get a lot of emails, uh, but I get round to them eventually. But I can't promise instant responses. Sometimes I can respond depends you know what's going on and how many emails coming in one day but um i'm very fortunate i get a lot of um a lot of input from people subscribers in my emails i'm very grateful for it so there you go i will get the link and in another video i will maybe tomorrow or another day when i've got uh, plenty of time and it's quiet and you know because you do really need to concentrate of course and uh, sometimes the mornings are the only time that's really quiet in my house and if I, sometimes I have uh, classes so like today I did have one class but then now I've got time so but for example tomorrow I've got classes so I won't be able to do it tomorrow morning but yeah, where I'm trying to think when will be the next time, maybe Wednesday, but certainly another day this week, I will take that other test. Now, I hope you found that interesting. And um, I'll put that. So in the description box, I'm going to put the link uh, to the where you can do the test if you want to do it. 
Um, also to the website I was showing you that was selling the Christmas jumpers, etc. And of course, a link to my uh, little shop. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. So I hope you found it interesting. I, for me personally, I found this very interesting. You know, we talk about a lot of things on this channel. I don't want it to be just a crime just all about crime there's the other interesting things and it is linked to crime of course so as always remember to live and love carefully wisely look after you because you are the most important person because if you're not okay you can't look after anybody else i'll see you very soon in the next video and as always until then may your god go with you thank you so much